Kilowatt 4, Hotel Echo, Whiskey. Roger. Roger, Roger. Hotel Echo Whiskey and the name? Roger. Hotel Echo Whiskey and the name? Uh, the name here is Joe Juliet Oscar Echo, located in uh, Clayton, North Carolina, just outside of Raleigh. Yes, sir, Joe. And what radio are you running today, sir? Yes, sir, Joe. And what radio are you running today, sir? Uh, we are running the ICOM 7300. And uh, we actually live in a motorhome and have a quarter wave vertical rear ladder. Roger. Roger, Joe, and just uh, conditions kind of uh, reversing themselves uh, just at the moment. Uh, why don't you give me about uh, 10 seconds on your antenna system, and I'll look around and see if we can find a better connection. And I'll look around and see if we can find a better connection. All right, we'll do that. Rick here is trading out of Clayton. Clayton, North Carolina. Here is an ICOM 7300 through a quarter wave vertical antenna. Cut for 40 meters. It is the uh, mounted antenna, and it is mounted on the top of the rear ladder of the motorhome. The top of it extends all the way up to about a maximum height of uh, around 40 feet. Uh, K4HEW. Roger, Joe, I found you. Uh down in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. You're about uh, uh, 12 over down in Atlanta, Roger. About uh, uh, 12 over down in Atlanta, Roger. Oh, Roger that, uh, Jim. You are between 15 and 20 over here, just booming in. <laughs> Roger, that uh, 7300 is sounding real good. Roger, that uh, 7300 is sounding real good. I've, uh, I think I've got it set up uh, the way we talked last. Um, at a uh, about a uh, three uh, mic, uh, excuse me, compression of three. Mic gain is at uh, 25, as I remember, and the bandwidth is 100 to 2900. Um, low, medium, and high, or mid, low, and high. And my uh, EQs are both at uh, one. Is the uh, bass is at uh, plus one, and the uh, high end is at a. Uh, Roger, main thing about that mic gain is how it affects the ALC. You want your ALC to be running at mid-scale to two-thirds by way of mic gain control, Roger? Both to two-thirds by way of mic gain control, Roger. So that's right, uh, that's right where it's at, too, about uh, two-thirds, almost two-thirds, and holding steady there. Roger. Excellent, excellent, Joe. Uh, gosh, uh, thanks for checking in, buddy. Uh, it uh, sounds good. Uh, usually uh, you're a little bit hotter, but, uh, you know, I guess we have some uh, propagational differences uh, this afternoon, Roger. Propagational differences uh, this afternoon, Roger. Yeah, it's still bouncing around a bit, but uh, you're, still, you're still well over uh, F9. And uh, I've noticed uh, my ALC... It peaks at about 50%. It does not go above that. I do hold the mic uh, right off the corner of my mouth, and the microphone has a, uh, a windscreen over it, a uh, black sponge windscreen, so I eliminate the puff <laughs> that works, and I think that makes a big difference because I can hear it in a lot of other radios uh, um, with that, uh, without, without the windscreen. Yes, sir, Joe. Now, you might uh, turn your uh, mic gain up to, I think you said it was 25 now, I'll take it up to 30. If your uh, ALC is just running mid-scale, uh, we want that to, to run uh, between uh, two-thirds and mid-scale, Roger. Uh, between uh, two-thirds and mid-scale, Roger. Oh, Roger that. I just I went up to 30. Actually, it looks the same. Let me try uh, something drastic like 50. There's a 50, and uh, everything stays the same. I think it's clipped right there. It's not going to go above that. That's uh, what it looks like anyway. Roger, sounds pretty good. I'd, I'd bring it back down to about a 40, and I'd run it at, at the 40 mark, Roger. To about a 40, and I'd run it at, at the 40 mark, Roger. All right, that's exactly where I've set it, and uh, we'll leave it there. It, uh, on, the, on the ALC meter, it's still uh, bumping right at 50. Yeah, yeah, it should be uh, moving on up there. I'm not real sure why uh, 
why your AOC would not uh, reflect the additional uh, uh, input level, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, who knows? Well, but, uh, you know, uh, who knows? Well, as long as it doesn't sound too hot, uh, we'll just leave it there for now. Sounds good to me. Uh, let's see. Uh, why don't you uh, tell me the best thing you like about your 7300. I'll, I'll listen again and see if I can uh, get a little bit better coffee now again. Yeah, see if I can uh, get a little bit better coffee now again. Oh, Roger. The used second hand was only about six months old. They had a scratch on it, but the price was really good. I think they paid uh, 180 bucks for it with the stock mic and... Uh, thing I like most is you don't have to buy other equipment to make it work uh, extremely well, Roger. Roger, I finally got you on my local antenna, and your bottom end is just just perfect. They're right uh, zero level at 100 cycles, so you got a, a great bottom end, a good top end, so you got it going on, buddy. Well, that sounds good. That sounds sexy, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Joe. Uh, 73, sir. Thanks for dropping by, Roger. Uh, Roger. Treat that way, Jim. And thanks much. Merry Christmas to you. Have a great weekend. I'm glad you weren't uh, damaged by those uh, tornadoes, too. 73 is K4HEW. Roger, Roger, Joe, 73, sir. This is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO Vlognet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.